that has been hid so much energy. In the spirit of man, there is so much power. There is so much potential in the spirit of man. But all these things, they are dormant until man comes to the realm of priests and kings and to the Lord. And so, in the book of Revelation, chapter 5, verse 10, and God has made us unto God his Father to be kings and to be priests unto him that we can reign here on earth. So we have been made to reign here on earth. As kings we reign here on earth until the kingdoms of this world become the kingdoms of the Lord God Almighty and his son the Lord Jesus Christ. And so as a king we have to reign and that is why now we are priesthood comes through. So we have to be priests before we become kings. Being priests is offering offering spiritual sacrifices unto God continually in the office of our priest. And so, for the, our priesthood to be effective, we have to remain obedient unto God as his sons. And we have to keep on the orders, or we have to keep on the duties of priests as sons of God here on earth, that we may achieve that which God had put in his heart, that which God had put in the counsel of his will when he created man in the Garden of Eden. I remember that this time back, this time around, the glory has been restored. The glory that the first Adam lost through Christ, it has been aggregated back into our spirits. And so in the spirit of man, energy. In the spirit of man, there is so much power. There is so much potential in the spirit of man. But all these things, they are dormant until man comes to the realm of priests and kings unto the Lord. And so it is in growth, in, in realms, in revels, whereby we are growing each same day. In the book of Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 18, 2 Corinthians, the Bible says that, But we all, with unveiled faces, beholding the glory of the Lord, as in a sea of glass, have been metamorphosed to the same image of glory. We have been metamorphosed to the same image of God. So, when we are doing our priesthood, we are beholding the glory of God. We are beholding the presence of God. I remember that. We are the sons of God, and sons of God, they bear the image of the Father. Sons of God, they, they bear the DNA of God. That means that the same glory that is in God is the same glory that is in, that is in man as a son of God. As God is, so are we in this world. And that is why now the, pro, the protocol of beholding has to be achieved by all manner. That's why we have to keep in the place of prayer. We have to keep in the place of intercession that you can be all the glory of God, that you, may, that you may be all that you may become. Remember that as we are beholding, we are becoming more of him. It does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when it shall appear, we shall be like him. So we are beholding unto perfection. And that is why when you are here, you are in the right place. We keep on beholding. God bless you. Make sure you put on the notification bell. Subscribe to this channel for more content. God bless you.